sir. I'm sorry. He gave up. <sighs> what, why, what, why, why, why did he give up? Chief People in Jersey. People have a hard time telling these stories. Yeah, Chief. Yeah. Hey, hey that Chief. Chief. It's an old Indian hey, game up, called Put the Ball in the Hole. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, uh, that man, you guys rocking. Little Jimmy Norton, you Thank rule. You. Thank you, buddy. But, uh, no, I was listening before. I drive like a work at, to work every day like an hour. And uh, when you guys were talking about role-playing and Andy came up with just choke a bitch, I damn near caught the 10-car pileup. That well, that's funny as hell. That's uh, what no. Jimmy does. Jim <laughs> I just got one more thing to ask Jimmy, though. Yeah. I just want to know if he wants to get a black prostitute, an Asian prostitute, with a little two-on-two, then grab some Sunny D if he's interested. <laughs> we could all, we could all sunny D. poke our infected heads into the fridge. <laughs> sunny delight for my multicultural friends. I got a black friend, a girl, and an Asian friend, and we're all having some Sunny D, Ma. That's awesome, man. You guys rock. Check it out. All right, thanks. Oh, look, son, your friends are over. Get your black hands off the Sunny D. <laughs> Mom will pour that for you. Yes. <laughs> Tell your black friend to enter the porch. He'll have his Sunny D handed to him through the window. Look, we're open-minded, but we're not that open-minded. That's Sunny D. <laughs> you wait outside for your fresh, cold glass of Sunny D. I hated the fact that you were on the inside of the fridge. <laughs> You're sitting there next to a pot roast whilst <laughs> liberal son and his multicultural friends open the door for some Sunny D after working up some boy sweat. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Let's get some Sunny D. All right. <laughs> Yuck. I also hated the children that wanted more Ovaltine, Mom. Oh, please? Who asked for it by brand name? Yeah. More homogenized D, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you just say more chocolate milk? Yeah, or Mom. more of that stuff. More, more of that stuff. More awful chocolate milk. Yeah. More awful teen. More gritty drivel, Ma. <laughs> uh, let's go to Miles in Maine. Yes, Miles. I was on the internet the other day, and I heard something about a yiffy furry fandom, something involving, like, sex with, like, plushies or something like that. Oh, plushies are uh, are people that like to have sex with people that dress up like uh, stuffed animals. It's not even people that dress up like stuffed animals. It's actual stuffed animals. Too. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's uh, it's both? It's, it's something to do with, yeah, they'll take the stuffed animal and treat it like, uh, you know... Is that a good uh, fantasy, partner. though? No. Is, is that the a partner? No, true. What? It must be for people who are really desperate or something. Yeah, what the yeah, I don't know where that comes from. Crap. If there's ever been a group of people that should be executed, it's them. The plushies? They're awful. There's websites. Uh, throw yeah, throw yeah. plushie into the Google. And there's, there's, there's all, kinds of, all kinds of um, techniques that they give on these websites on how to use each uh, stuffed animal and its uh, features. And to the, you know, they take like if one has uh, little arms, like you got a little doggy, uh, and it's got little arms and legs and stuff. Well, they're all legs, aren't they, on a dog? Yeah. <laughs> Be silly exactly. if you stood up, you could call them arms, but they never stand up like that. No, they're well, always... they do occasionally, but they can't grab things. Get me a beer. No, doesn't they work. Can't, but no you put thumbs. peanut butter in the right place, and you'll see exactly why he's man's best friend. <laughs> good news, guys. I got uh, Sting's latest song. And the good news. We uh, started this. Show talking about how we saw Sting last night, mm -hmm. as he was Stink. as he was playing the lute and the songs of John Dowland, uh, a lutenist that lived in the late 1500s. <laughs> this oh. is why the police aren't getting back together uh, anytime soon because Sting has to Sting's play the lost lute. his mind. We're waiting for Sting to stop experimenting, and eventually he'll get back on that that stage and sing for his supper. Do the reunion concert already and shut up with your lute. Well, here's a commercial for his latest album, but you get to hear the uh, the uh, the new sound of Sting. Oh joy! You get to hear the lute. <laughs> Oh, God. Sting. Songs from the Labyrinth. The new album. Sting. Songs of romance and beauty from Elizabethan composer John Dowling. See, I'll be honest. That one, I don't mind. How do you not mind I, that? It's, it's actually, how? How? It's, How? It's not Shut bad. up. I don't mind that one. I don't mind that one. You don't no. mind the part where he goes, to die, to die, to die. 
No, there was other ones I did. I, I would actually give that CD a listen. I don't know. Maybe it just annoyed me on principle. But um, by the way, I, I know a dom who, who, who did guys plushies, and she said there was one guy that loved it. One guy she sees, she makes come out to the car, pay for her cab. He's totally nude. <laughs> when he pays for her cab. He'll walk out into the street. That's part of the it. gig? It's part of the gig. It's the public humiliation. <laughs> ah, I should put him in a rabbit outfit or something. I should call her uh, and oh, ask her. Check in at the Overlook Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Get a room upstairs. Great party. <laughs> Yeah, and then she'll uh, bury an axe in someone's chest. <laughs> no, but she she said these guys are real wacko. She's hardcore, man. She's uh she's really nice. Wow. I, I don't I don't see her in that capacity. Fast forward to the police station. <laughs> You're dressed in yeah in a rabbit. Oh my <laughs> god. I didn't know it goes so far. <laughs> the cottontail part cut out. <laughs> I'm on a business trip, <laughs> and she stole my cell phone and my credit card. <laughs> she fell. She fell against the headboard. I we would <laughs> it never meant to happen. We've done this before, but she <laughs> fell. What am I gonna tell my wife and four kids? You should have thought about that earlier, sir. Whose uh, costume are you wearing? <laughs> oh God, I'm in the costume. I didn't even think about <laughs> blood all over the costume where he was cradling her. <laughs> Her head that cracked open on the headboard. <laughs> a bloody bunny costume. <laughs> and blood where the tail is, which is what started this whole aggression on his part. <laughs> Why he pushed her off right. and she hit the headboard. Absolutely. <laughs> and something that looks like the missile that launched XM <laughs> with crimson all over it. <laughs> I don't know why this makes, makes me laugh so hard. Oh, it's such an uncomfortable situation. He's totally screwed. <laughs> right. I never cheated on my wife before. The guys oh, talked me into this at the office. I'm a family man. <laughs> I got a father-son picnic with my son tomorrow at the school. <laughs> I, I can't get stitches. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, he's at the police station in a bloody <laughs> Dead Dom in the morgue. He has to, <laughs> he's screwed. He has to walk gingerly around the house to hide the shame, and he only eats applesauce and pudding for two weeks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Every morning, she hears her husband in the bathroom screaming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eating his Cheerios in his bowl with one big blow-up Cheerio on his seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's my the, w the wife's just look of contempt on her face for him. Just she's just buying her time. The house is mortgaged now for bail. He's just because he killed the hooker. I love this story. He has to gingerly walk all over. Oh, Ooh. fourteen dissolvable uh. stitches. <laughs> <Dissolved>. <laughs> Take another sits bath with some Epsom salt. <laughs> He's got to sit in a little bin of Epsom salt every night to prevent infection in that germy area. <laughs> now remember, applesauce and pudding. <laughs> we'll try to get you on more solid foods in a couple of weeks. I you don't want to tear the stitches. I can't have peanuts. No. <laughs> no. Popcorn. And then when you think it couldn't get bad enough, you have to leave the police station. You're still in the, the rabbit outfit. And then the media is outside. <laughs> they take you to another location. <laughs> Daddy, I can't even go to school anymore. You're the laughing stock. They call you the bunny man. <laughs> they call you bunny butt man. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love if every one of these situations just turns out like this. Oh, it's too disturbing. There was a dom in Boston who killed a, who got, died died recently, and they didn't. They did, he had a heart attack on the rack, and this selfish bitch was worried about herself and let him oh. suffer for like five minutes and die. Oh Murder my boyfriend. god! And they chopped up the body. They didn't kill him. They just didn't help him. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's not helping when you <laughs> let him die and then chop him up. <laughs> You got the dead hooker. You're in the bunny rabbit outfit. You call your one trusting friend to chop up the hooker with you. And yeah. dispose of the the, oh, oh, before the cops get there. <laughs> Look, Bobby, you gotta help me out, man. I, 
Hey, uh, Mark in Boston. Yes, I said buying uh, her time. I'm sorry. I was excited Make about sure. her. I'm, I, I was excited about our scenario. Yes, I did say that. Oh, I got tears, man. I don't know why that makes me laugh. Oh, it's such a great, Holy you're screwed moment. <laughs> and it's not you. <laughs> this is great, isn't it? I don't know why I enjoy that, too. That's, that's the only fantasizing I want to do as far as Adam is concerned. She's dead. The businessman's life is ruined. <laughs> His family disgraced. It's just a business trip that went awry. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just having a little fun. You want a naughty nurse fantasy? And some 300-pound homoerotic man comes in and smothers you in white shoes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh. Dr. Death is here. <laughs> oh, Dr. Death. I hope you brought the hot girl. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is great, man. We were laughing. <laughs> it's just that scene out of Godfather 2. The politician where he's sitting there on the on the bed and the hooker is just bleeding from everywhere. I wish I, we were just here in it. I don't know what happened. I fell asleep. And it's, 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 don't worry. The Corleone family will take care of it. Right. Yeah, it's just... Mato Corleone. It's just every bad movie. Yeah. All uh, right, here's a cute story. We begin in Erie, Pennsylvania, where Titoria Graham actually swung her infant through the air to strike her boyfriend. The baby is four months old. She's been charged with aggravated assault, reckless endangerment, and simple assault. Unfortunately, the child is not doing very well. He is listed as serious but stable. Authorities, meantime, have removed four other children from Graham's home. Uh, Did you charge the kid? <laughs> yeah, right? You don't hit... Uh, someone with a kid like that, you chain two kids' feet together and go at them with kid chucks. <laughs> <laughs> Just swinging them around. <laughs> like a mace. <laughs> you put a metal hat on one. <laughs> go, Kappa. That's one of the crazy stories today. That's wonderful. Huh? Wow. Yeah. Um, well, just if you get a chance, look at the names of uh, oh, really? people involved. If you get a chance. That's all I'm saying.